Hello and welcome. Here is another set of questions for the Android interview. Uh, for the bonus question of the last episode, if you remember how to update a screen periodically, yeah, it's thread and handler. Good job. So now it's going to be uh, a new set of questions. Let us boogan. What is a content provider? Can you tell me how is it used? You have 10 seconds. It's a mechanism for providing or exchanging content between different applications. So a content provider uses URIs. It can read from an SQLite database or just a big binary file. You have to declare it in the Android manifest for it to work. If you nail any of these, you're good. Well, you use a content provider for contacts, SMS, phone numbers, pictures. Great, now for the second question. What is a PNG9 image or 9 patch? How is it different from a normal PNG file? Well, it's a specific type of PNG format that can resize itself depending on a different screen size. How is it different? Well, it contains an extra pixel on each side of the image. The left and up sides are stretchable, right? That's where the image uses the pixel to stretch itself. The right and down sides are for padding. They are not going to ask you further than this. So this is how it looks like. You have your scalable areas over there, and this is the filler area. Okay, fragmentation. What does it mean? How can you avoid it? Well, it means that there's so many things to take care of when you're building an Android app, since it's so fragmented and there's no one way for a device to look like or behave or or anything really you know you can have devices like samsung there's always something with samsung devices and you got the chinese stuff and you got this stuff. it's not like apple where there's one phone and you only have to worry about like three different screen sizes at once ever and it's all from apple it's guaranteed nothing is gonna misbehave it's all gonna work it's not like that on android it's fragmented right it's not centralized like with apple so the way to avoid this is to use a resource for each resolution. This is the one that we usually do. LDPI, MDPI, HDPI, X, you know. I say use an SVG, okay? This format will help you a, a ton. And it will save so much from the APK's final size. Look into that. Use elements, of course, from Android X, previously app compat. Avoid absolute position. Uh, use constraint layout, padding start, not padding left, so that for RTL and stuff like that, it could uh, fix itself on both occasions. Always use DP. Um, you already do avoid it, you know, but the issue is the fragmentation doesn't really appear just from uh, the, the UI stuff. It rarely appears from UI stuff. Usually it's functionality. You'll see a lot of uh, fragmented stuff with Samsung. Samsung is always a source of bugs for stuff that you thought was working. You go and test on a Samsung, it's not the same. So it's an open-ended question. It's not really set in stone what you can do, honestly, and not in my opinion. What's the difference between an interface and an abstract class? Yeah, you're gonna be asked this. Sounds silly, is silly, but hey, an interface is absolutely abstracted. It cannot include any implementation. An abstract class can define some behavior and internal structure for an object. It's pretty clear. Interfaces are always implemented. Objects always extend from abstract classes, right? You always implement an interface. You don't extend an interface because there's nothing to extend. You cannot inherit that functionality. There is no functionality in an interface yet. Hash code and equals. So this one, this one, you're going to see uh, many variations of how they might ask this. The last time I was asked this, it was in the form of diff util. Yeah. How does diff util work? And uh, it's a combination of hash code and equals. It's usually for maps right? So a hash map needs a hashing algorithm. Uh, so you insert a value for the key. The hash map has a hash function 
which says the key times the value divided by x 10 or something and that's some index and it goes and places that value on that index all right so depending on the value it may have also conflicts it, it may conflict where it's placing this value some other hash uh, hash function will produce the same index so that has also ways of resolving it that's a whole thing but if you mention the hash map thing you're good equals objects that are equal must return return the same hash code this is used for checking equality of the objects truly equality like not just the references are equal uh the the values inside or something but but about here you're you're done like when you say both of them are used in a hash map uh it's hashing function there it is uses both functions to determine index oh yep what does the serializable interface do? You probably know this. Probably used it. What it does is translates an object into a binary information. So that you can store it in a database or you can send it through the network. Not parcelable. Serializable. It's different. Bonus question. This, I faced this, uh, like a week ago, how would you implement the network layer without retrofit? You can use OK HTTP, but nothing else. How would you end up implementing it? Do you have some series of steps? Any idea? You can answer in the comments, of course, as you usually do. What would you do? You cannot use retrofit or any other library that provides similar functionality to retrofit. Do you even know exactly what retrofit provides? What is retrofit exactly? What does it solve? We all take it for granted, honestly. Uh, yeah, how would you do that? <laughs> uh, sure. So that's about it. I still have another video coming about the types of interviews you're going to have uh, between uh, companies that are very large, like Google and Facebook. And companies that are not equally large, they're not gigantic like Google and Facebook, but they are considerable companies, the difference between their interviews, which you probably know, but this is like from the Android side of things. That's about it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.